Hello there. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to play you a video that I recorded a few weeks ago. Um, and then I'm going to sort of complete it. So we'll start off with that. Just have this idea for an app on your phone, which I might try and make. <laughs> we'll see about that. But yeah, the idea is that you, you have the icon of the thing that you most usually turn to. So for me, that would be Killer Sudoku, which I probably spend more hours than I would like to know, frankly, playing. Basically, I was, you know, went to a hospital in Oxford today and I was waiting for the park and ride bus. And, you know, it's only 20 minutes or so to kill, but immediately my phone comes out and I'm playing Sudoku, which, I mean, it's harmless, but it is a waste of time. I mean, it's not going to really do anything for me. You can, I mean, there's some argument that it might help my cognitive abilities, but, but really it, it's purposeless. It doesn't lead anywhere. Whereas I could read a bit more Bible, couldn't I? Or do something else. And so... I'm not alone, I think, in having a situation where mm, I wish I read my Bible more and somehow I don't get round to it. But it's amazing what you do get round to, isn't it? How many hours of Sudoku or, or minutes of television or minutes of Sudoku and hours of television or whatever it is, you know, um, you know, dual blitz or whatever game that, that uh, occupies you. And just to have it so that you click on that icon and instead of running the game, it gives you a choice. You can run the game, you know, because you might choose that and it's okay to choose that. It's not that games are evil. It's just that you did intend to choose not always to do that and it's a habit. And so it's just an idea that if you came, if it came up with just a, a very simple window that says, run that game or the other thing that you've chosen. And maybe, you know, maybe two or three things you can have in there as things that you're hoping to occupy your mind with. You know, reading the Bible would be a good one, I would suggest. But maybe there's a list of people to pray for, or it might be that there is something that you're hoping to learn. So, you know, read a bit more about how to speak Spanish, or, I don't know, tune wirelesses, or <laughs> whatever it is you're trying to learn. You could have it lead you to that app. Just a thought. Maybe I'll try and make it. Well, the thing is... It suddenly occurred to me, actually doing a strange new process that I've only done for a couple of weeks now, but I'd highly recommend. And that is, for the Sabbath, or Shabbat, um, doesn't have to be, I don't think, a particular time, but for me it's worked out well as being uh, from 6pm on Friday till 6pm on the Saturday. We've just had no screens at all. And that's been quite a challenge to start with, but actually it's very easy to get into and, and very re rewarding. And spending a little bit of time in quiet contemplation. And that's very much the key. If you don't actually spend it in quiet contemplation, then it'll be no different than turning the screens on, really. I mean, if all you did was read a book, you're still busying your mind, and you need to unbusy your mind, I think. But it, during that period... Uh, I came up with a sort of solution to this little problem, and that is to actually just make a folder. And then when you make that folder, you can fill it with that app, the game that you play, or whatever it is that you occupy your time with, and then put one or two other apps in, like, you know, a Bible app, or... Um, I, just as an example for this, I, I came up with, oh, you know, you could learn a language. So I put this language learning app in. And actually, I've been using it. <laughs> I've been brushing up my Spanish, which turns out wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's just one of those things that you sort of have the idea initially and think, oh, it's too complicated, you know, you have to build this software and I haven't got time for that, doing all these other things. And the software's already there. The only difference to the software that I intended when I first recorded that video was that it would have the same icon and it would look identical but really that hasn't made a difference and it's meant that yeah I quite often do still choose to play Killer Sudoku which I enjoy but every other time maybe or something like that I choose one of the others so give it a try you never know it might lighten the 
bombardment that we all have in your life. <laughs>